If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then the people surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. So, this is a really funny song and a really amazing song for joy, which expresses joy and which expresses fun. Okay, those who are orphans, do you think they are always in fun? Not maybe or not so maybe, because they have lost their one parent or more than one parent. That means both of their parents. So, what happiness is in their life? No joy, no happiness, no care of mother, no care of father, no affection of parents. They lose their two main important things of life and that's why they become orphans. That means children who lose both their father and mother or only one of them, they become orphans. What can be so sad rather than being an orphan, right? When you go to orphanage, you see that the children are not that much happy or something. Yeah, people try to give them happiness, people try to make them feel joy, but without parents, the world is full of darkness. But still, we should try to keep those children happy. Suppose I and you went to an orphanage. There, a child named Lisa has lost both of her parents. She always cries. Why? Because she is alone, she is lonely, she doesn't have any partner to play with or any partner to share her feelings with. Because if she would face any problem, she would definitely tell her mother. Or if she would face any difficulties in doing something, she will definitely ask her father to help her with it. But now in this world, she has neither her mom, neither her dad. She is really alone and no one wants to play with her. So, you and me, we went to the orphanage, shouldn't we give that child some time? Yes, sure, we can give the child some time. Yeah, in this case, people all around the world are trying to help orphans who are really miserable and who are really, really in a very sad condition because not all orphans are good, not all orphans are adopted by people. So, in this case, I'm not telling you to adopt, but you have to behave really in a really good way with the orphans. So, today, our topic is orphans and orphanage. Without any delay, let's move on to the main discussion. Orphans, as I told before, they are without any company of their parents because they already died. Okay. So, they need company from the other relatives of their family or if they have any close ones in this world. Like if their uncles and aunts do not let them to stay in their house or just they tell them, force them to work on their own. They just do not treat them as their own children then the orphans will never be like credited as human beings in this world. But this is a really wrong deed, isn't it? Yes, because they are also human beings. They are children like us. The way your mother loves you, the way your father loves you, their parents also used to love them the same way. But when they are facing problems, when they are lacking that love, that time we human beings, we have to give them the love. Yeah, we cannot give them the love of their parents. But we can give them a bit, can't we? Yes, we can. Suppose you arranged a lot of money for arranging your birthday party. If you do not cut a cake unnecessarily, if you give the money to the orphanage and they eat biryani once a day, they would feel so grateful to you and you know what? They will pray to God that Allah or God please make those people great human beings because they served us with biryani once a day. We could eat biryani once a day. So isn't that something great for your life, a great achievement for your life, that you're helping orphans? Yes, it is. And from now on, I have decided just if I see any orphan, I would try to help him or her the way I can. I can console them that please do not feel sad. This is God's wish whom he wants to take away, whom he wants to stay in this world. But we should not fall down. We should be energetic and strong. 
I should console them and I should make them feel happy. I should have friendship with them and I should be so much affectionate to them that they feel that yeah, she is a very great human being. She helps people. Now, in this case, our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam was also an orphan, right? He lost his father before his birth and after six years of his birth he also lost his mother. And he also lost his grandfather after eight years of his birth. So he lost many relatives. But still, did he stop? Did he stop his life? Did he fall down? Never. But he encouraged people to help the orphans. He even said that those who help orphans should get good deeds in their books of good deeds. That means their name should be written in the book of good deeds. They will get good results in the hereafter. Also he said, those who help orphans will get clothes in paradise to me like these two fingers. Just as these two fingers are closed, they will stay closed in paradise, those who help orphans. So think, he was himself an orphan, but he still did not fall down. He talked, he raised his voice for the other orphans. So such a great humanity in him. So can't you raise that humanity too? The dress you don't wear anymore, you can give it to the orphans, right? One dress for one orphan, that would be a huge donation. Yeah, during winter, you have a very cozy blanket. You do not need to buy another blanket. And if you want to buy another blanket, give it to the orphanage. So thank you everyone for watching my video until the end. I hope you guys know that how our fans feel because they lose their parents and sometimes their own relatives. They are all alone in this world, so you should not let them feel lonely. You should let them feel free and independent. Thank you again for watching this video until then. Inshallah, I'll come up with another interesting topic next time. Till then, keep your eyes on my favorite presentation challenges. Fiyam Anillah. Aapna shandhan aapna ka chhe? Ekti shop no. Ekti projon mo. Ekti Bangladesh. Hai, deshgarar prottay pratishthita huye chhe. Boss, Bangladesh Online School. We shape future. For admission, please call our SMS to 162 000 4200.